Hey, hey, I'm Cam Day. Welcome to the channel and to today's video. It's truly a pleasure to have you. I hope you're doing okay. I'm actually hanging in today. I'm doing all right. I'm currently snacking on some dark chocolate covered cranberries, which has recently been my go-to snack when it's like just before dinner time and I have work to do, AKA record a video that I've been putting off all day and I need something to hold me over until I can actually eat a meal. Very relatable, I know. To address my hair situation really quickly before you come for me, I washed my hair earlier for the first time in like two weeks, so you know that was a glorious feeling. Um, I let it air dry for a few minutes and then I clipped it up. So the reason I clipped it is to get a little bit of volume at my roots, knowing that I was going to be heat styling it later. So don't worry, don't go around looking like this all the time. And if I did, it's my business. As you know from the title, and as I just mentioned, I will be heat styling my hair and I will be showing you the process, but it's showcasing this product that I've been really wanting to use for quite some time, and I'm very excited to show it to you right now. Please meet the Amica, gosh, this box is squeaky, the Amica Blow Dry Brush. It's part of their New York Minute set, which includes the blow dry brush and then two of their um, styling products. So this is their Perk Up Dry Shampoo, which is probably one of their most popular products, and the Shield, which is an anti-humidity spray slash heat protectant. Guys, when I tell you I'm so excited, please believe that I'm so excited. One, I have always wanted to be able to kind of master a blowout at home and I've just really never been able to do it. Just, it's just always a sad time. Um, I don't have the coordination, I don't have the upper arm strength. I have gotten good word and recommendation and actually seen other reviews from some women that I know and love and trust and they all have similar hair to me. Either they have more voluminous curls or they have waves. Some have more like um, coarse texture. My hair is pretty fine um, but it can grow in volume and it can become very defined curls. I would say like 3A, 3B. Before I actually get to unboxing, just hold on, um, and actually using the blow dry brush, I want to kind of lay out what my expectations are and what I'm hoping to figure out from using this. There are three things that I really wanna tackle that I'm hoping this solves. Number one is time. Normally, if I were to style my hair, I would blow dry it and then straighten it. Combined, that process can be anywhere from like 25 to 45 minutes. So if I'm able to hit a sweet spot or at least be within that time frame using this one tool, we're golden. Number two is volume. That's really important to me when I'm straightening my hair. It just looks better and feels better and more fun, you know, instead of just being flat and sad. Because like I said, my hair is fine and has a tendency to lay flat, even when it's curly. So the more volume and the more body, the better. So that's why the brown brush and the blow dry um, shape of this brush should be able to get me some volume at the root. So we'll put that to the test. And number three, I want to not have to use my flat iron. I've had my hair professionally blown out before and I just don't really have the texture where you can like blow and go. Most of the time you need to kind of go over with a flat iron to straighten out some curls and frizz and flyaways. Now if I have to do that, it won't be the end of the world, but if I have to use it to like redo and restyle and completely reshape my hair, then I'll, re then I'll reconsider the blow dry brush. We shall see. Next thing, fairly quickly, I just want to go over the packaging. I show this to you at the beginning, but please know Mika has always got beautiful packaging. Whoever their creative design person is or their team always kills it. Like I said, this is their New York Minute set and they're based out of New York. So if you can even just like tell in the detail, this is a train, there's, you've got your Metro card or Amica card. There's a pigeon because pigeons are like the squirrels of New York City. It's just really cute, it's really thoughtful. It truly makes for an exciting unboxing experience. Like when I opened the package and saw this, I was really excited to get going. And it also has cute little iridescent details, which I'm always a fan of. The box itself is really sturdy. So if you're a reuser of boxes, this is one that you could find a new home for. Now we've taken off the top. This is what the inside looks like. This is what we're working with. I mean, it's really the thought that counts, and this is what, in my opinion, um, brings back a repeat customer. 
if the unboxing experience is fun and feels special, there's a higher likelihood that I'm gonna come back. Just saying. So we've got our heat spray, which I will be applying to my hair momentarily. This Perk Up dry shampoo. I try to use this at least after day two or day three, um, but if I need a little volume, I might add it after the blow dry. And then here we go. Please don't mind the crinkles. We've got our brush. So it does have a cord, it's not wireless. Oh man, and I don't know if you can tell, but two of the bristles got pressed up against the packaging and lost some shape. I think with the heat, they'll be able to re return back to normal. Not the end of the world. Um, the way it feels is pretty decent. When I've seen the other people, like I said, do the reviews of this, this looked kind of huge, TBH. But I think if it was any bigger, it would be unusable. And any smaller, maybe not um, as effective on the hair itself. So as far as like design and size and feel goes, it feels very usable. And that's the goal. You want this to be like a one-stop shop and feel like something that you want to keep using again and again. So, so far it feels good. The bottom has an adjustable dial and that is for the three different heat and speed settings, which I think is really cool because that was one thing again that I wasn't really sure about. If it was, you know, how adjustable it was going to be and how um, personalized you could make it. So let me read from the box so that I don't lie about what it does the three different settings it has three different heat and speed settings so you can use high temperature and high speed for thick and coarse hair i probably won't use that on myself you can do medium temperature and low speed for um, fine hair and detail work although like i said my hair can get big and be crazy it's actually really fine like once it's straight i could put it in a ponytail that's like this big so probably that one. And then the third speed, you can do low temperature with high speed, which gives any type of hair a sleek finish. So I'm assuming that most people would go with one of, one of the two first speed and heat options, and then everyone could use the third one to finish off in sleek and style. So I'm really excited to give this a go. Let's get started. I'm just gonna give it a go. I will make a quick disclaimer that one, my haircut is super whack. I gave myself a haircut about six, seven months ago and it's not my best work and it's grown out and it's, I don't really know what to expect. So um, let's hope that I can finesse some cute curls or waves with this so that it distracts you from that. And number two, I, as much as I like heat styling my hair, I don't do it very often because I want to protect my natural hair and I really like when my hair is curly and bouncy. Um, but I like being able to switch it up. But with that said, I'm not like super finessey when it comes to like, you know, knowing stuff. So I'm working on it and hopefully this will help make things easier on me. Now uh, let's actually go. I'm gonna take my hair down and you'll see that in two seconds. This is my hair down and damp. I'm gonna spray the shield on it. It says it's good to lock in all day style. It's heat activated and it just helps to extend the style while again, protecting your hair from the heat. So you gotta shake and spray. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I wish you could smell it. That's so huge when it comes to hair products. You know what I'm saying? Okay, spritzing and I'll be ready with my hair clipped up in three, two, one. Quick note on the shield, because it's an aerosol, it kind of sprays all over the place. So that's something to keep in mind, especially if you're in a close space, um, like I'm in a totally sealed room with camera equipment. So I need to keep that in mind. Um, it does feel a little bit hard to target it, but I feel like I got it everywhere. It smells amazing. Hopefully I didn't use too much product and we'll see if it actually does the job. We've got our blue light on. Okay, you can see it. We've got our blue light on. That means she's on and ready to go. I'm gonna twist it to the second setting and get going. Second setting. It's low, it's medium heat, low, it's medium heat, low speed. This is gonna take a while. 
Okay, okay, so I'm gonna change my approach. I'm gonna go to the highest setting, which is high heat, high speed, and I'm also gonna get some water to spritz my hair because I did a dumb thing. Of course, if you have curls, even if they're still damp, um, it's, it's gonna be a little tangly. That's what I'm experiencing, and I don't want to tug this through my hair. So I'm just gonna re-wet my hair a little bit, see if that makes it a little bit easier, maybe even brush through it. This is the first pass through. We might be here for a while. I spritzed and brushed, focusing on the ends because that's where they tend to get the most tangly. We're kicking it into high gear. Okay, so we're making some strides, but let me just show you the first section with the first few run throughs. Um, this is very much what it looks like when I blow dry my hair and brush through. It's, you know, not super sleek. It still has a lot of curl and frizz up toward the root. Um, I know that I can figure that out with some water, maybe adding more shield or using a different um, style, like heat protectant that I can add to it. Again, I want this to be fully, you know, Amika figuring it out and seeing what I like about it. This is the end. Part of that is just my natural curl when it's brushed through, but it's also the shape of the blow dryer. So we're getting somewhere. I will spare you through my whole head and I'll let you know where we end up. So hot um, but here we are here's our final our final look and this is again with bad layers I curled that one a little bit too much but this is the first run through of it all and I'm gonna touch it up at the end so you can see how I would actually like style this and go I can't stop touching my hair and I totally need a snack after this. So this is my last chocolate covered cranberry. Okay, so that was an experience and I'm gonna tell you, I didn't love it at first. And I don't know if I love it in general. So when I first sectioned my hair and I had, you know, all curly, the first section that I had down, literally at that point, after doing it a few times, I was ready to give up. Mainly because, and one of my most important notes for you, is this thing is hot as hell. Especially if you're using it on the highest heat uh, setting like I was. When you're using it close to your face, it is killer. And especially if you're trying to get volume out of it and you want to hold it at your roots a little bit more, it's hard to tolerate. So that's something to keep in mind, especially if you don't like using a lot of heat on your hair. This is hot. 
it's very intense. Now as I went, I figured out how to make it work a little bit better and not die or melt. So it is manageable, I will say that. So that's something to keep in mind. And because, especially if you're used to using a blow dryer with a nozzle, you know, that heat is a lot more concentrated and a lot easier, I would think, and I would say, to kind of work with, especially if you're using a brush that kind of creates a barrier. This whole thing is a blow dryer. So it blows out of every side. So that's something to keep in mind. And that was another thing that frustrated me was especially when I, um, was going through it the first few times. Now this is kind of my bad because I didn't section my hair very meticulously. I rarely ever do. I only use like one clip and figure out the rest. Um, so I will be mindful of that for next time. But when you're brushing through, it's easy to get sections of other hair. So like for instance, let's say I had curly hair on top here and I brought down a section. If I didn't move this, because this is so big, it's really easy to pick up other sections of hair. So something to keep in mind, again, it's maneuverable, you can figure it out and move past it, but it was frustrating at times, or it would also pick up other curly sections that I didn't detangle yet. So it just made a little bit of a mess. But again, I figured it out and was able to move on smoothly. Next, because there is a constant stream of air coming out through all sides, if you wanna get volume out of your hair, like so, and brush your hair like this, so you're getting heat at the root and you're brushing your hair out, it's also blowing your hair out. So if you're prone to frizz or if you have curly hair like I do, the first few brushes through will be completely messy. It's just gonna be a lot of flyaways, a lot of frizz. So I definitely had to find myself not only going like this to get the volume that I wanted, but I also had to use the other side to actually smooth down the hair. But you just have to do that very lightly so that you're not negating the volume that you're getting by going up at the roots. Tricky, but doable. My last thing, I think, is patience. You need to take your time and be patient. Like I said, I wanted to give up pretty early on. I'm glad that I didn't because I'm actually really impressed with the way that it turned out. I love the volume that I have. I love the little waves at the bottom. Now, the front pieces are a little too curly and I think I curled them in the wrong direction. So it's gonna take some getting used to figuring out the best way to make it work. And I still haven't gone through with the cool shot to like sleek everything out. So I will be doing that and showing the final look. But again, take your time and patience is really important. I worked in about two inch sections of my hair, maybe two inches wide, I think approximately. And I had to go over my each section multiple times. And again, not only in just the same direction, I would have to smooth it and go back, smooth it and go back. And I maybe spent two to three minutes per section. So that goes to my last point, which is one of my number uh, first three points that I wanted to test while using this was the time that it took. I think it took me about 40 minutes from start to almost finish. Like I said, I wanna do some finishing touches, kind of figure out the shape and figure out the final style. But that was also with some learning curves. It was my first time doing it. So I do think that as I go back to use it, which I definitely will do, um, I think I'll make it a little bit easier and it'll be more seamless of a process. All right, I think I got it. I think this is as good as it's gonna get for the first go around with no other styling tools. I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna give this first experience like a seven out of 10. Again, for the reasons that I just mentioned that most of them are work withable as you get used to using it. Uh, what really helps is how lightweight it is and my hand or arm didn't hurt at all, which is huge because if you've ever had to straighten your own hair or blow dry your own hair, it can be a workout and this didn't feel like it. So that's probably the number one takeaway is that it's comfortable so that it's easy to work out the kinks. Again, if you're kind of a novice, maybe a little intermediate like I am. Um, I will say I did add an extra heat protectant. So I used this Frisbee Gone from Giovanni Eco Chic Hair Care. It is specifically a silicone serum. Now I realize a lot of clean beauty and clean hair care and skincare don't like using silicones or try to formulate products without silicones. 
Silicones are not always the bad guy. This is really helpful when you're trying to create sleek, smooth strands. The silicones create like a little bit of a, a shield around your hair. So that's what helps to, again, smooth frizz, protect your hair. Now the only thing is that if you continue to use them all the time, it can create product buildup in your hair and that can just be kind of yucky and your hair won't actually be nourished because there will be such a barrier over the shafts and the strands. So, you know, as long as you're cleansing properly and not using it all the time, silicones are not the end of the world. And especially if you're frizz prone, um, especially after a blowout, this is really helpful or a product similar to it. I like the heat shield, this guy, but I just didn't want to keep using so much product. And again, I'm just not in a well ventilated room and didn't want to hotbox myself with the aerosol. But again, all of this I will give another try. I am really impressed. The body is awesome. I was able to smooth a lot of the top frizz that I thought was gonna be an issue that I'd have to use a straightener for using this. Now, yes, I had to go over it a handful of times and kind of spot treat and figure out what worked using cool air, using the heat. But again, working out the kinks, this will be something that I can use on a regular basis and I'll only have to use one tool, which is amazing. No extra brushes. No nozzles, no nothing. Um, now, yes, there's hair in here, so I just have to find a way to clean it regularly so that it doesn't get built up, but I'm quite impressed. At first, not a fan. Definitely would recommend it to people who have more wavy hair or, again, people with fine hair like me. There's definitely ways to make it work and to make it be a really enjoyable experience. Now, I just want you to imagine that I have an actual good haircut and I have shorter layers that frame my face. I have ends that aren't completely dead. Um, that makes a really big difference, especially when you're blowing your hair out for the first time in a while. I think that can make or break your experiences. Like if you have a decent haircut or fresh, fresh ends, it makes a really big impact. So maybe I'll trim it myself and just trim. I'm not gonna shape because I don't always trust myself when it comes to it. That is all I have for you though. Uh, because it is a heat tool, I was able to get away with having it be on and laying it down on my table. I do have a, um, a little bit of a cloth down, like kind of a dish towel. I use it for my makeup. Maybe that helped, but I only set it down for like maybe 10 seconds max because otherwise I started to panic and think that I was gonna blow this place up. So it's easy to turn on and off just with the dial at the bottom. It's easy to change gears. I recommend you give it a try, especially if it's something you've had your eye on. I'm glad that I can give it a positive review because as a curly girl, I've been wanting to use a product that makes straightening my hair easy. And I had really high hopes for this. I wasn't convinced at first. I still have some troubleshooting to do, but it's. I definitely am not at the place where I'm like, eh, I'm done, never wanna use it again. I wanna keep using it. I know that I can do it in a shorter amount of time and still have the effects that I want. So all in all, I'm impressed. Amika, way to go. I really appreciate the straightforward packaging, the straightforward messaging, and the straightforward product itself. It doesn't have a bunch of different buttons. It doesn't have a bunch of different settings. It's really easy to use and each setting is very clearly described for how and when you may need or want to use it. If you've used something like this or have used this itself, or if you want to try it, please, please, please let me know in the comments what your experience has been with, again, a different brand or this specific one, or if you think that this is something that you actually want to try. I'm dying to know what you think. I only got this because of other people's reviews. That's kind of how I do in the beauty space in general. Like if I hear people talking about it well enough or if I have my own experience, that's what I trust and that's what makes me make, you know, bite the bullet and make the decision, make the purchase, do the research, whatever it is. This has been a long time coming. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna give it like a B plus, A minus. I hope it brings you joy. I hope if you don't need it for yourself, you can gift it to someone. Again, the packaging is amazing. You don't even need to do a lot of gift wrapping yourself. That's all I got. I'm super hot. I need to take a break and give myself a trim without actually chopping off all my hair. And also day two, day three hair always ends up sorting itself out a little bit better. And I'll be able to use some dry shampoo to keep the volume going, which I'm really a fan of. I think it did a really good job. 
the more I sit here and the more I look at my hair and touch it, the more I'm impressed. But also the greasier my hair gets and whatever. Like I wanna fix this, this isn't doing it. Okay, I could probably ramble about this forever. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you for stopping in with me. Thank you for trusting me with, um, with my true first impressions, honest review of this. I hope you were able to get what you needed out of it. Again, talk to me in the comments and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps my channel. And then I can bring more reviews and the like to you. Thank you so much. Please take care, be well, take a deep breath and breathe some fresh air today. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye.